Two locations in Boston will have a new work of public art, an interactive billboard of changing promises. The artwork opens August 27th in Dudley Square and September 11th in Copley Square. The artwork was commissioned by the nonprofit organization Now and There. We'd like to welcome the executive director, Kate Gilbert. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Kate. Thank you for having me. Now, first of all, before you did this work, you were working uh, along the Rose Kennedy Greenway. I was. I was. I was the original. Uh, um, instigator, I would say, of public art along there. I was working in programming. Now, one example of, of how public art can make people feel differently about a space, there, there have been a, a number of artworks along the Greenway, uh, some even a little controversial, but, sure. uh, uh, but if you have a favorite, what would you point to as an example? I would point to um, one of the earliest works that I helped bring out, which was The Big Hammock by Hansi Better Barza. Uh, it literally was what it sounds like, a giant hammock where up to 10 people could get on it. And for me, it really brought together the diversity of Boston because we had lawyers from Ropes and Gray there and then children from the Children's Museum and anyone sort of passing through that space. And you get people to think of the space as a space. It's not just something you walk through and ignore while you're on a mission to get someplace else. Right. It really stopped people, and they had to physically engage with that artwork. They laid on a hammock, and they looked up at where the big dig, uh, the highway, rather, used to be. Now, picture uh, Dudley Square. Once you have this billboard in place to paint the picture for me, what's this going to be like? Well, it's, it's a very um, recognizable space. A lot of traffic is going by there, and suddenly there's going to be a 16 by 16 foot white billboard that has simple letters saying headline, headline news of that day that are all promises. Those will be surrounded by your promise. And I think that's going to be pretty impactful as people are driving through going, oh, right, Mr. Trump is promising something. And that one sounds really different. Uh, one example that we had when we were testing this is a young woman said, I promise to stop underestimating myself. Now, this is about uh, public trust. So the first thing I'm thinking of here, you'd be talking about some uh, you know, elected officials, yeah. uh, right? Well, the artist, Paul Ramirez Jonas, is looking at public um, and, and trying to determine how their one set of words, one politician, one body can represent all of us. And so this work is, is trying to put all of those people in the same sort of hierarchy. We all have the same promises, same font, same type style. We're talking with uh, Kate Gilbert uh, about some public art in Dudley Square. Um, Kate, what about the process here? About if, if somebody wants to make a promise or mm -hmm. someone feels badgered into making a promise, what do they do exactly? Well, I hope they don't feel badgered. I hope they want to come up. It's free and open to all. There's, there's, there's no entry fee. You just have to, have to simply get in line and wait your turn. Um, once you are at the, the front of the line, you're asked to sit down at a table that's custom designed by the artist and start a conversation. And it's a very intimate conversation about promises. We're asking that person who sits down, what are promises that have been made to you and what promise would you like to give today? Here are some of the ones that, you know, the last people behind you, uh, sorry, in front of you, gave. Uh, now, I, I noticed you're being very open-ended about this. Uh, it could mean anything from, uh, I, I, I promise to, yeah. to, to wash the dishes more often, or yeah. to, I, I promise to close the achievement gap in the schools. I yeah. guess this is, this is how inclusive it's supposed to be? It is supposed to be that way, and it's supposed to be up to the user, the, the participant, to decide how much they want to really make this, you know, serious or personal. Um, as, as you mentioned, we did have someone who came in and said, I promise to wash the dishes tonight. That was his, his promise to his wife. Well, this is temporary art. <laughs> right, exactly. It's up. But it's not because there's, there's the first impression where we make a contract at that table that's given to you, the participant. That's the first impression. A second one is when it's on the board. A third is when it's on social media because they're going to be taking a photograph of every person with their promise. And then the fourth is going to be in a book. So people should be thinking rather seriously about what their promise will be. So wh why choose Dudley Square at, at this time? That's a great question. Um, it's our mission and belief that all art should be inclusive. And that doesn't mean just art that's for, uh, on, in a space where most people are used to seeing it, a museum, a park. Um, we were looking at neighborhoods that are very... Um, inclusive. You've also got Copley Square in the mix too. Now in, yeah. in Copley Square we think of this as almost this is historically fixed location in Boston. We don't think it's going to change overnight and yet there, there are changes afoot there as well. There are lots of changes in that area. Um, you look over at the library and the new renovation they're doing to make that more inclusive. 
Um, Copley Square for us is one of these places where it, everyone comes and passes through at some point. Um, and it is, it is sort of shows a lot of the history of Boston from the church through to the, the bombings. Um, a lot of history there. We're talking with uh, Kate Gilbert from now and there. Uh, so if people want to get in on this, mm -hmm. uh, have a prom promise put up on the billboard, what's the process? You've got a website, I guess, they can go and check out? Yeah, you can that. go to publictrustboston.com and find our hours. We're out sometimes 12 hours a day in all three locations. It's 21 days straight. So find a time that works with your schedule, come on over, and hopefully we can get you right into the line. And we should make sure people know what uh, is going up when and where. And this is going to be in Dudley Square for one week, I think. It'll be in Dudley Square starting this Saturday starting at 10 a.m. Uh, we'll run through Friday. Saturday, September 3rd, it opens in Kendall. It's there for a week, and then it moves over to Copley Saturday the 11th, Sunday the 11th. Great. Thank you very much. Finally, your website that people can check out? PublicTrustBoston.com. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Kate Gilbert from now and there. We'll have more news in just a moment.